Thanks for watching this episode of Live For Die For. My name is Travis Fogel. This is a cicadier hunt from some years back. Crazy hunt. I'm about a mile and a half back in the marsh. Get up in this tree and I start hearing a crazy noise and I don't know what it is. So I get the camera gear set up, getting ready for the afternoon hunt and start filming some pre-roll and I actually picked up the sound I'm hearing. So I, uh, you'll hear it. I actually blame it on a frog. I don't know what it is. So after about an hour, I keep hearing the noise and all of a sudden I hear walking or splashing in the water and I knew it was a deer, but I'm like, where did this deer come from? This sicka stag was bedded three yards from the base of my tree and I never knew it. Um, hindsight's 2020. A couple days later, while I'm editing the footage, I realized that the deer's intestines are hanging out of its belly. It was injured. I never even knew it. In the heat of the moment, I didn't put two and two together. So I'm not into making deer into pin cushions. My first shot is fantastic. I didn't get as much penetration as I wanted. Second shot, rage broadhead, rage hypodermic, and I hit my first arrow. Broadhead open, no penetration at all. The second shot was a waste of time. Third shot, I put him down, and uh, the stag was mine. So the deer was dying. Never did I ever think that this deer was injured, but that's why you're hearing the crazy sound. So when I feel dressed it, I just assumed that the guts were hanging out from my third shot I made. In the heat of the moment, I didn't put two and two together. This was my second sickest egg I ever killed with a bow and arrow. So I was extremely excited and it happened so fast. So check it out. Maryland's Eastern Shore, sick of deer hunting in the marshes of Dorchester County. Sick of deer hunting, Maryland's eastern shore in the swamps or in the marsh. Awesome, awesome hunting, very, very hard. Skeeter crazy. I wouldn't step in here without the game hide, the limited clothing on. It is the ticket. It's full blown rut right now. Me, Hoyt Carbon Spider, Black Eagle Airs, and Rage Broadheads, we're gonna do work. Hopefully they'll be bugling hard and I can even call one in, but I'll wait for the bugles. This is awesome hunting. Very, very hard, very challenging, especially with archery gear. I did it last year, put a six point down. Big frog. Hopefully we can do it again two years in a row. Let's wait for the bugles.
Sicka Stag down here in Maryland. He was bedded next to me the entire time. When I thought I heard a frog, it was him. The noises he was making, crazy. I've been hearing that the whole time. I've been in the tree for like an hour. I was literally thinking it was a hind that was sitting there mewing. It was this sicka stag. He's rutting. Unbelievable. Bedded 10 yards from my tree the entire time. It is so hard to put these deer down. If you get an opportunity to shoot again, you do it. You don't hesitate. My first shot was perfect. I spined him because he, he just locked up. I didn't hesitate. Second shot, I think I actually hit my first arrow. But he was still there, quartering away. I put another one right in the pump station. Second year in a row, second six point down with my bow. Holy carbon spider, black eagle, arrows, rage broadheads. Come on! Look, Mom, no sights. Did it again. All right, here we are at home, back on the western shore of Maryland. Um, got him cleaned up. He was an absolute uh, muddy mess. Uh, I need to give my carbon spider a wash too. It's it's so much mud in that in the marsh that we're hunting down there. Uh, Sick of deer, Maryland's eastern shore, Dorchester County, the only state where you can hunt these free ranging animals. Getting very very popular, and we've gotten very uh, serious into bow hunting these animals in early October when they're rutting. Very challenging, hard hunting. I had to. I was wearing hip waders yesterday. Fell into some deep holes and uh, it's it's very challenging. Mosquitoes put a six point sick of stag down on video. I self videoed yes, uh, yesterday and last year. Makes it 10 times harder when you're self videoing. But got the right equipment, the Hoyt Carbon Spider, Black Eagle Arrows with the Luminox and the Rage Broadheads. Just did work. He was bedded next to me the entire time I was in a tree for over an hour making noises. And you heard me in the interview, I thought it was a frog. I didn't know what it was. I have never heard noise like that before. But all of a sudden he got up and walked dead behind me. I had a very, very hard shot. I had to go over top of the limb, but uh, put a nice, uh, he was walking away from me, spined him into his vitals, laid him out, quick follow-up shot, and he was mine. Cool animals, very, very challenging. Mm -hmm.